with a yo ho ho, it's Tale of the Toaster. Welcome to a loser's set of Smash Masters Endgame. Here we have Scourge Blade versus Nyab. And Scourge Blade has clearly came here from the future because. Oh no, Nyab is the one playing as Dark Samus, excuse me. But before <laughs> yeah, excuse I carry on with that, perhaps introduce my co commentator. Hello, I'm Aurora Yoshi. That is say? correct, and yes, Nyab has come all the way from the future, playing as a character from a <laughs> game that isn't out yet, but may be out by the time this video comes out. But Dark Samus, despite being a brand new matchup that Scourge Blade has never played in his life, is still not proving too much of a trouble for the Robin player so thus far. It seems like a matchup he'd be almost familiar with. <laughs> Well, considering Dark Samus and Samus are uh, echoes, <laughs> well, you could you theorize that we truly know all the differences between them both until the map, the matchup has been tried. But that's not too much of a problem for Scourge right now, who is showing off and getting to land Nosferatu in mid combat. A fairly poor effort at a spike aside, he is dominating this match. Hmm. Yeah, and, and Nasaratu at like this point is just gonna make it give him more of a lead too, because it gives him percent back. Now, like the percents are about even, but the stocks are not. It's very clearly in Scourge's favor as he retreats to the platform. Both of them are just retreating to charge up. I think that benefits a little bit more NAAB, but it's more of if he gets the opportunity to use that, it's a bigger punish and a bigger reward. Oh, he get get that roll back. Scourge definitely has more to gain from camping because he's got the stock lead. This mm -hmm. is not the type of player who will generally go for a timeout win, and I don't think, even if he was trying to go for a timeout win, he probably would get the KO at some point before that happened in the next 3 minutes and 50 seconds. But there's nothing wrong with forcing the approach Ooh. from Nyab. <laughs> it's going to bait the man into getting spiked into the depth. It's a bit, bit risky to look for that setup too. He tried to find screw attack off of the upper, but he fell out of the upper because the multi hits are a bit difficult to land. You have to space that just right to get it consistently in there. But he fell out and he just gets spiked down as a punish. Good response. And so with that game one complete, we now move into a game two where both players have changed their character choices. Nyab has returned to this day and age and is no longer playing as a character in an unreleased Super Smash Bros. game. And is, <laughs> well, he's kind of playing as Young Link. He's using that skin of Toon Link to represent it. But Scourge Blade has gone as Zelda. Talk me through this one, Aurora. Has he ever used Zelda in his life? Yes, he has. Do you remember that grudge match we had once of a Zelda Ditto? That sounds horrific, but it somehow was cool, he it was has actually, actually pretty cool. secured a KO with Din's fire. It was cool. If you wanted oh, to watch no. that, it's one of the salty sweet matches on here. It went to game five. It's a pretty close Zelda ditto. Well, the whole set was a Zelda ditto. Yep, that was the intent of it. As I, was, as I said, sounds horrendous. <laughs> it was good though. I swear. Also. Scourge and Zelda is so good, you nearly well, killed yeah, that right. up there. I believe it now, I'm a believer in Scourge <laughs> Blade Zelda. That was the most dominant Zelda play I've seen in my life. Hell yeah. He also oh, had I'm Zelda vs. Logie too, now. and it was yeah. going really good in the last tourney as well. So like, his his Zelda is nothing to slouch at, and like... NIAB, you can't even challenge anything. He nearly died to up there trying to, trying to laugh down her. But we now go into game three, and Scourge just couldn't resist the temptation to go Zelda again. And why not? That was really fun to watch in game two. And now he is making Zelda look like Mario, and is gonna go for a zero to death on Nyab, I think. Not quite gonna manage it, unfortunately. That's or fortunately, so depending on how you perceive this matchup. Yeah, he just did like 40% all off of up tilt because of Roy being a fast forward. That's pretty rewarding to start off. And AB, he's trying to make a switch, but he can't really get any ground at the moment. I bet as soon as Scourge Blade 
finished recording this match, he's like, oh, I can't wait for the viewers to see this. <laughs> and he'll just be anxiously sitting in his seat waiting for his best set of all time to see the light of day. And he Oof. technically gets another spike. That's the fourth in this entire <laughs> set, I think. Oh, my God. Scourge, let him, Scourge let him mad breathe. With, you, you, Scourge, you didn't let the man the breathe. Best, the best performance of his entire lifetime in Super Smash Brothers for Wii U. Well done to him, and he will be advancing to mm -hmm. the second round of the loser's bracket. That's a well-deserved victory for Scourge. Good job, man. I've been Taylor the Toaster, and keep tuning in to Smash Master's Endgame. End the game. I love it. This has been Aurora. Take care. <laughs>